Hello, I'm Casilla West, and I will be talking about the truth about drugs intervention. I'm with the University of the District of Columbia and Walk Ward Five Health uh, Coalition. The authors are Ferroni Jackson, OK Timmy Tope, Casilla West, myself, uh, Adele Barboa, Andre Williams, on Octavia Thompson, and Nancy G. Irez, also UDC students and professors and certified peer educators. So the Foundation for Drug-Free World, they focus on teaching uh, teens and young adults about drug, uh, drug use. Um, they want to make sure that to eliminate the negative behaviors and criminality associated with drug use. Uh, we use the four booklets uh, from the drugfreeworld.com, uh, dot org, excuse me, uh, the crack, uh, cocaine, um, marijuana, alcohol, and synthetic drugs. Our methods, we used um, a pre and post survey. And so we first gave the participants and students on campus um, uh, the pretest, and then we gave them the knowledge, uh, history, uh, statistics, statistics um, long and short-term effects, uh, symptoms, and um, um, and also the street names. Um, then after that, we gave them the post test to see um, to test them on the knowledge that we gave them. Our data. So um, we had four tabling sessions. We had 69 per participants overall. Um, for a uh, majority of our participants were 18 to 24 years old and 25 to 34 years old. Uh, most of our participants were black um, or a part of the Latinx community. And also majority of our participants were seniors, uh, juniors and sophomores, and also females. Um, we uh, noticed that there were 32 participants within the marijuana tabling. Um, the majority of the participants within that marijuana session, 23% to be exact, uh, thought that marijuana makes you feel better and it helps you relax or escape. Um, within the alcohol part, um, session, there was 97% um, increase in knowledge. Um, the pretest within that within that session, the alcohol session, uh, was 30% uh, percent of students got the answers correct. And for the post-test, 59% uh, of students got the answers correct. Um, for the crack and cocaine uh, sessions, we uh, noticed that there were 45.6 in uh, percent of increase in knowledge. The pretest showed that there was 57% of students uh, that got the answers correct. And the post test showed that there was 83% of students that got the answers correct. Uh, there was a three, 15% um, increase in uh, knowledge during the synthetic drugs um, session. Uh, the pretest showed that there was 20% of students that got answers, um, that got the answers correct. And uh, the post test showed that there was 83%. So we were happy about that. Um, results and conclusions. So uh, we think that knowledge is power. So um, we thought that our intervention uh, gave, was very interactive, educational and motivational. Uh, we hope that the participants were able to gain the knowledge and uh, uh, we gave them the resources to the website, the drugfreeworld.org, and hoping that they uh, gave that information to their family and friends to uh, make them aware and of um, the positive behaviors of drug use. Um, and I think there's anything that I missed. Um, our most successful drug. Um, tabling was the alcohol section because of the um uh because of the um impairment goggles and so the students would stand on a line on a taped line and try to go over um go over the line with the um with the goggles and people the students were very happy about that uh thank you for um watching 
and this is the end of my presentation. This is the end of my presentation.